Hi friends! Today we are going to learn about modal auxiliary verbs. That sounds complicated, right? Don't worry, it's just a fancy name for what we like to call helping verbs. These are verbs we use when we want to express possibility, ability, politeness, permission, and obligations. They tell when something happens or set the mood or tone. We always connect a modal with another verb, that's why they're called helping verbs. Let's take a closer look at modal auxiliary, or helping, verbs. The modal, or helping, verbs are the words, can, could, might, may, must, should, will, and would. They tell us when something happened and set the mood or tone of a sentence. To find the helping verbs in a sentence we first look for the subject who or what is the sentence about. Next, we find the main verb. This is the action. We can then find the helping verb in the words between the subject and the main verb. For example, the students might play tag at recess. First, find the subject. The students are the subject. Next, which word is the main verb? The word play is our action, it is the main verb. In between the subject and the verb we can find the helping verb. Might is the helping verb. It is telling the reader that the action has not yet happened. It also sets the tone. Do we know if the students will play tag? We don't know, so the tone is uncertain. You should call the doctor. Which word is the subject? You is the subject. Now find the main verb. Call is the verb. Which word is the helping verb? Should is the helping verb. It is telling us the time, that the action has not yet happened. It is also setting the tone by offering a suggestion. Find the helping verb in this last sentence. The dog must have ran away. Dog is our subject. Ran is the main verb. Which word is the helping verb? Must have is our helping verb. It is telling us the time, that the event has already happened. It is also setting the tone by expressing possibility. Helping verbs tells the reader when an action happens and sets the tone or the mood. We use these verbs when we want to express possibility, ability, politeness, permission, and obligations. See how easy it is to use modal auxiliary verbs. Bye friends! For a fun interactive game on modal auxiliary verbs go to www.snowflake.live.